Hey guys, how's it going? It's Wally. I'm back with another gameplay commentary. This is Domination on Standoff. Yeah, it's Standoff once again. Um, I'm a really big fan of this map and I consistently do very well on this map, so yeah, it's Standoff again. <laughs> Too bad. Um, I go 64 and 1, which is awesome. Can't, uh, can't really top that. Haven't topped that yet. But I'll try, don't worry. Uh, I'm using the AN94 with suppressor, quick draw grip, and laser sight. And I changed my kill streaks, like I said in my last video, to Orbital VSAT, Lodestar, and Swarm. The Swarm, like I said, once again, is freaking awesome. Like, it, it's so good. Whenever, like, an enemy calls in a swarm, I just leave the game. Like, fuck it. You can't really do anything, so. Yeah, because there isn't any defense against it unless you run inside and hope that they don't come through a window or a door or something like that. But anyway, I'm using the AN94 again, like I said. Um, I used it in my other uh, gameplay on standoff, which I also do very well in. But yeah, because like I said, it's my favorite gun ever. And why not use it more? Um, yeah, but I'm already out of ammo with it, so I have to pick up this hammer and... Yeah, there's a host migration there, so I had to edit it out, but it lags a bit here, so I'm sorry about that. There's actually a few host migrations in this game, so if, if there's a little lag or something, it's, that's probably why. Uh, yeah, I pick up this MSMC. Not a bad gun. I haven't really been able to do well with it, but it uh, I handle it okay here. This guy has a gold. Good for him. I haven't got any gold guns yet. I just don't use guns that often I get really bored with them after a while even if I totally love it like this AN94 maybe I'll get gold with it who knows or diamond who knows but I just I just get bored of guns like that like Call of Duty you have to switch it up a bit you have to challenge yourself so if you're just using an overpowered gun the entire time it's not really gonna be that fun well at least for me I don't know about you guys but yeah I I, I think I get more ammo for my AN94 here I don't know how that happened but anyway, I have my orbital V set up, so I rush into their spawn because I know exactly where they are. Because I want to get some more kills, and that's the way to do it. Run into the enemy spawn, it usually works, and kill that guy from behind. And yeah, V set assist there. Whenever I call in an orbital V set, I get so many assists like that, it's awesome. Uh, it really helps you out and helps you get the next kill streak. Well, yeah, I call him my swarm there, just right off the bat. I'm just I skip over my load star because I figure I'll just wait, and I kind of camp in this uh, this house. Well, it's not camp. I'm kind of waiting, but while I'm waiting, I'm killing other people. So I guess it's kind of camping. So I, I yeah, but I just want to let my swarm get me kills, and it destroys the UAV there, which is awesome. It gets me even more points towards my next kill streak. Because that's what I want to do. I want to use. Like I want to stack my kill streaks here. Well, they're actually score streaks. So Should be calling them kill streaks. Anyway, yeah. If if uh, I can just get closer and closer to my orbital V set here. But like I said, I don't want to end my my score streak. So I kind of stay inside, protected from the enemies. And I call my load star here, which is great. This map, it, like I said before, is perfect for this um, for this kill streak this load star they can't hide anywhere because there's all low rise buildings but I don't know sometimes they spawn in those buildings like that but it's okay I still get a lot of kills with this yeah there's a guy trying to shoot me down in this but actually like all the time whenever I get in a load star it seems like somebody has an anti-air missile thing and wants to shoot me down 
But I always try and find out which guy that is and take him out as fast as I can. But it's hard to tell like which guy out of all the enemies on the map is trying to shoot at you, but if you actually find that out, it can save your low star's life and you'll get a lot more kills. Anyway, here I'm still kind of lurking around in this building, uh, waiting for some a stray enemy to come around so I can get him. Because I want to get my orbital V set, but round ends right before I could get both of those guys. And I think there's another guy around the corner. But at the moment in the game, I am 44 and 0, like you see right here. I only have one capture because you know my team can do the rest of the work. Whatever, I'll just I'll just kill everybody. <laughs> um, yeah, I find if you wait, like if you're halfway, halfway on your way to getting. Uh, your next score streak, um, and the round's almost over in domination, then you might as well just wait till the next round because you do get more points uh, capturing your first uh, flag there, and that'll actually help you out a lot. And I usually come to this spot at the start of rounds in domination at standoff because you can see B, but oh yeah, there is another uh, host mic. Like I said, there's a few of those in this game, I have to edit them out and it's not a very clean transition you could say but I decide to go up the right side here but my teammates already get C my beautiful teammates um, so we're already like behind the enemy and I see those guys spawn in, uh, on my UAV there so I'm watching the stairs and sure enough the guy comes up but there's still two more guys around the corner three more guys right now so I'm just watching that area making sure they don't uh, come up from behind and kill me get my VSAT jump out the window uh, now I know where they are, so I feel very comfortable. Um, yeah, I see there's a guy upstairs, and unfortunately... Actually, no, never mind. I think I get killed there, but I don't. Uh, I get killed in the exact same situation, though. That guy's trying to run up the stairs. I get him in the head. Like a pro. Uh, just spray him down with my laser sight, because that's what I can do if, if I have a laser sight. Helps me out a lot. Like I've said in pretty much every one of my videos, laser sight is great. Uh, yeah, so I have my V set so I can just lay waste to their entire team here. I see that guy's coming around the corner. I know exactly when he's coming around in the corner, and I take him out. But unfortunately, this guy gets me, like I said before, on the stairs. I think it was a cap 40. Goddamn, overpowered sidearms, man. <laughs> Way too good. You should not be able... Like, I've seen gameplays on YouTube just all cap 40. You sh like that you shouldn't be able to do that. <laughs> it's like a gun, a sidearm, a pistol should not be able to do that. But uh, uh, too bad. Call of Duty is known for overpowered guns and it's always good to have overpowered guns. And you could even argue that this gun, the AN94 is overpowered. But what can you do? I'm still get a pretty awesome streak though. And I'm not calling in my loads there here cuz I still think there's more guys around the corner. And, and or, yeah, but I decide that the enemies aren't there anymore, so it's kind of safe to call up my Lodestar. Uh, they're in the buildings right now, unfortunately. But I think they start to run out, and once they start running out, you can just trap them whenever they spawn with the Lodestar, which is great. It's kind of a pain in the ass if you're on the other team, but I pretty much, I'm pretty sure they like all rage quit here, too. Uh, yeah, like two guys just left, but that'll happen. That happens a lot to me, because you know I'm such a good player. They just run and hide whenever they see my name. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but if you're in ground war, it helps because there's more people, and if everybody leaves, there's still enough people to to, uh, to get a decent amount of kills. With domination, it kind of ruins the game for you. But luckily for me, they come back here so I can still kill them. <laughs> it's kinda mean but it's part of the game I guess. But anyway guys that's pretty much the end of the gameplay. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. 64 and 1 is pretty awesome. Best gameplay I've gotten so far. But uh, yeah subscribe for more and give it a like please. It really helps me out. Thank you guys. Bye.